Hi guys, today we're gonna make a fun little earrings project. I'm gonna show you how to make this exact pair of earrings two different ways depending on what kind of tools that you have available to you. Now you can see behind what's hanging down, we have this loop component. I'm going to show you how to make that with the stepped bell making pliers and I'm also going to show you how to make it with just your large and small bell making pliers because not everybody has that stepped bell making pliers available to them. Okay, we're going to be using some um, artistic wire. I'm using 18 gauge tarnish resistant silver. I'm also using some 8 millimeter bicones and some 4 millimeter bicones. You can use whatever beads you want to with this project, as well as the chain. I'm using some really small um, cable chain, but you could use any kind of chain that you wanted to. Let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to cut a piece of artistic wire. And I have cut about 10 inches. And again, this is 18 gauge wire, okay? I'm gonna show you two different ways to make a very, very similar bubble-shaped component for your earrings. So the first way we're gonna do this is with our stepped bell making pliers. For those of you who don't have a pair of these at home, I highly recommend them. This is one of my favorite tools. I reach for this all the time. You can make six different sizes of loops with this tool. You can make a, um, let's see, a nine millimeter, an eight millimeter, a six millimeter, a five millimeter, a three millimeter, and a two millimeter loop. So you've got the option for six different loops. That's unheard of in one tool, which is really, really great. We're gonna use all six sizes for this piece of jewelry. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our wire right at the end between our pliers right here in the back and we want to make that first loop using the largest portion of the pliers so we're going to make a nine millimeter loop and to do that you just want to put that wire between the pliers and then you just want to turn the tool you can obviously turn the wire if you want to it's whatever is more comfortable for you but you want to go ahead and create an entire loop okay so that's the first step. Now, I'm actually gonna put this back on the tool, back on the size that it was, and I wanna wrap this around, I've wrapped around once all the way, now I'm gonna wrap around half, okay? So you can see I actually started here, and I have ended pretty much in the same place, just because I want this to be double in width in at least one portion okay so half of this is going to be double so now we've got our wire coming out here towards the end we want to go ahead and put this back on the pliers because it's easier to go ahead and form that next loop when you're holding the wire so i've got it on that nine millimeter but now we're going to take the wire and wrap it around the eight millimeter so we're going the opposite direction just kind of making a figure eight now you want to take it off the tool and then re position it so that you can go ahead and wrap that wire all the way around and again we're going one and a half times around the tool so that when we take off we are coming out down towards the bottom again okay this just not only is this going to strengthen your piece but it's also going to <laughs> has been issued for your location not only is this going to strengthen your piece and add some, some strength to the overall design, but it's also gonna put your wire exactly where you want it to be to move on to your next loop. Okay, so we've used the first two, the nine and the eight. Now we're gonna move on and we're going to move down here to the six millimeter. And to do that, I'm actually gonna put that last loop over the five millimeter so that I can wrap around the six millimeter. Okay, does that make sense? It's just easier. It's just, you know, just to keep your pliers out of the way. It's easier just to position them into one of your loops already. So there's that six millimeter loop. Now we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on the pliers in the same place. And then I'm gonna take the wire and go the other direction around the five millimeter portion of the pliers taking it all off so that I can reposition and go ahead and wrap all the way around once one and a half times okay so now my wire is in the correct position to jump up again okay so to step up I'm going to put that loop over that two millimeter 
just so that it's I can hold on to that wire really well and we're going to wrap the opposite direction around that three millimeter okay I'm taking off I'm just doing the same thing so you can see we've just kind of worked our way all the way down the pliers creating loops as we go wrapping one and a half times so that that wire comes out and is ready to go at the bottom of our last loop okay so now I'm ready to make that last loop on the two millimeter portion of the pliers okay taking it out and wrapping all the way around one and a half times so that my wire comes out towards the bottom okay and this is what we've got so far and now I'm, I've got this tail sticking out here I'm going to come in with my cutter tool and I'm going to trim that off and the next thing I want to do is I want to really kind of eyeball it a little bit because you'll see that it's got a little bit of a curve where we've gone all the way around each loop it's kind of curved our component a little bit so I'm just going to very gently straighten this out because I want this to be as flat as possible okay you just want to make gentle movements you don't want to make any major big bends in your wire all right so that looks pretty good that's the shape that I'm going for and you'll notice that my my little bubbles are not lined up completely that's fine that's the look I'm going for I don't I don't care that it, it has that kind of freestyle look to it now one other thing I'm gonna do before I set this to the side and make another one is you can see at the top here I've got a little bit of a tail where we started and it's not really nice and curved I'm gonna trim some of that off just to make it a little bit more tidy okay so I just trimmed like a fourth of an inch of that off just so that we have more of a, of a a smooth transition there you can see okay all right so lay that down so you can see this is what this guy looks like with the step to bell making pliers now we're gonna make a very similar one of these it's just a tiny bit smaller you can see not a whole lot of difference using two different sets of bell making pliers because like I said not everybody has the stepped tool but if you want to make these earrings you definitely can do this with another set of tools okay so we're going to start the exact same way we're going to come in with a 10 piece or a 10 inch section of 18 gauge wire and you're going to start with your large bell making pliers okay so we're going to go work down the pliers pretty much the exact same way except that we've only got two sizes to choose from so we're going to make one loop with the large eight millimeter mandrel and then we're going to make two loops with the five millimeter okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to place that wire in between on our pliers and just just like we did with the others just going ahead and wrapping one and a half times around to create a nice shaped loop okay and I'm going to put that back on the pliers and now this time I'm going to use my wire and go around that five millimeter mandrel okay now I do have to take it off of the pliers to continue that loop so you can see before I adjust there's just not enough room with the pliers in the way so now I'm going one and a half times around okay so we've made this little snowman shape okay now I'm gonna make a second one of these number fives okay now this is where it does get a little bit tricky because you can't put your five millimeter loop over that eight millimeter mandrel so you are going to have to just kind of position the larger mandrel to the side just a little bit okay and that means that you are also going to have to reposition that loop that we're about to make but that's okay you can see this wire is pliable we can definitely make it work Okay, so you can see it's off to the side just a little bit, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to go ahead and make the wire come towards me, and then I'm actually going to hold the wire here and turn the tool holding the wire, and that's going to help position that last loop right in, in the spot we want it to be. Okay, and you can see I've gone around one and a half times, maybe a little less, but 
we're pretty close, okay? So now I'm done with the large bell making pliers. I'm gonna set that to the side and I'm gonna finish up with my small bell making pliers. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do two of the um, four millimeter loops and then one we're gonna finish with that two millimeter loop, okay? So now I'm going to position this on the pliers so that that last loop is going over the two millimeter so that my wire is free to come on around that four millimeter. And again, you can see it's a little off to the side, but that's okay, we know how to adjust it. So we're gonna put that back on the pliers, wrapping all the way around, kind of moving, guiding everything with your fingers. Okay, so there's that first loop, whoops. And again, I wanna be sure that my wire is coming out the bottom. Okay, so here's what we've got. Now I want to make one more of those. Okay. That was one more using the four millimeter mandrel of the pliers. All right. And now we're going to finish that off with a two millimeter loop. So we're going to put that back on the four and wrap around the two. We're going to take it off. <clears throat> and then continue wrapping all the way around till we get to the bottom and then we're going to trim everything off okay so you can see it's very very similar shape it's not exactly the same as the other because there is a little bit more um, millimeters available on that first set of pliers that I showed you but you're basically getting the same shape. So don't think that just because you don't have the exact tool that you can't make it work with something else because you absolutely can make this exact same component using two sets of bell making pliers or even a set of wooden dowel rods. All right, there you go. So you can see very, very similar. From a distance, you would never really know the difference. There is just, a, this one with the stepped bell making pliers is a little bit larger and just a tiny bit longer, but you get the exact same effect. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start putting our earring together. You're also going to need, as well as your, um, your looped component here, you're also gonna need two pieces of chain. I have cut my chain, I have one inch of small cable chain, and I have a fourth of an inch. And it's actually a tiny bit more than a fourth of an inch, it's about five lengths long, okay? We're gonna use those to attach, and we're also gonna make some beaded dangles using some of these bicones. So I've got two eight millimeter bicones, and I've got five four millimeter bicones, okay? And you're gonna need three head pins. All right, so let's move our chain. We're just gonna sit the chain and the component to the side and go ahead and work on these little looped components first. And then we will assemble everything together. So we're gonna take one of our head pins <clears throat> and we're gonna thread on a four millimeter bicone, an eight millimeter bicone, and another four millimeter bicone. Okay, so now we're gonna come in with our chain nose pliers and we're gonna grab that wire right above that last bicone that we added. Okay, there's not any space there. And then we're gonna bend that wire 90 degrees. So when I take it off of the pliers, this is what you've got. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with my round nose pliers. I'm gonna grab that wire so that it is running between the barrel of the pliers. And I'm gonna go up and over the top barrel of the pliers and bring that wire on around, reposition, and go ahead and bring that all the way around so that you can see how, here that I have my loop ready to go. I'm gonna put that back on the pliers, switch hands, and I like to use a second pair of pliers to make my wraps. So I'm just gonna grab that wire and wrap around that straight section of wire above the beads about three times, okay? And now I'm gonna trim off the tail and this little guy is ready to go. All right, so now we have the nice little beaded component that is ready to go on our earring. So we're gonna make one more of these 
that is just the four millimeter bicone, an eight, and a four. And we're also gonna make one that is just a single beaded link that just has a four millimeter, four millimeter bicone. And I'm gonna go ahead and do wrapped loops on the top of those two as well. Okay, now we are ready to assemble our earring. And the first thing we're gonna do, just to get these little parts out of the way, is we're gonna take a four millimeter jump ring and we're gonna thread on our singular four millimeter bead and we're gonna thread it to one end of our fourth of an inch piece of chain. And then we're just gonna go ahead and close that jump ring up. Now this little section is ready to hang. Okay, we're gonna take another four millimeter jump ring and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our one inch piece of chain and thread that on and then thread on one of our three bead dangles and close that. Okay, now our last bead set, we're gonna take a four millimeter jump ring and we're gonna hang this guy from the very last loop on our component. So we're just hooking through that bottom loop and then hooking our beads on and closing the jump ring. So now really the only thing that's left to do is to add our chain pieces and our ear wire. So to do that, we're gonna use two more four millimeter jump rings. I'm gonna take one of the jump rings and I'm gonna thread on this longer piece of chain, okay? And then I'm going to thread on the shorter piece of chain. And then behind both of those, I'm going to thread this on to our component right at that top loop. And then we're going to close that jump ring up. And we'll be ready to add our last jump ring and our ear wire. Now, depending on what kind of ear wire you're using, you may not need an additional jump ring, but because our ear wire is going in the same direction as this top jump ring, we need to add an extra link in between there so that everything hangs correctly. So we're just gonna open up that last jump ring. We're gonna thread it through the jump ring that's holding all of our chain and our component, and then we're gonna thread on our ear wire. And actually I have this in the wrong, on the wrong side, hold on. Maybe be sure that you've got everything going in the direction that you want it to go. Okay, so now we're gonna thread on our ear wire and our earring is complete. When you're done, you've got this really fun earring that has this bubbly section running down the middle and then you've got your chains with your added little sparkle from your bicones. Just a really fun, different pair of earrings using some tools that you probably already have. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.